good morning once again and welcome back to my channel my name is doris and the word that i have for you today is stop crying stop crying you are in the midst of your solution before we get to the word let us pray father i thank you i bless you i glorify your name jesus lord i thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word lord i pray that this word is going to be a blessing this word is going to be an encouragement this word is going to be a revelation to somebody may you anoint your word even as i release it that whoever is going to hear this word they shall hear that which you're saying in jesus name i pray amen the word that I have for you today is not going to be a long word. It's going to be a short word. It is a word of encouragement. It is a word of comfort from the Lord. The Lord is saying to you, stop crying. Many of you have been crying. Many of you have been weeping because of what has been facing you, because of the situation that you are in, because of the circumstance that you are in, because of the things that you have been contented with, the opposition from the enemy. But the Lord sent me to come and tell you to stop crying, stop Stop crying because you are in the midst. You are right in the midst of your solution, and it's gonna open your eyes, and you're gonna and you're gonna see the solution to that problem. The book of Genesis, chapter 21. We are going to read verses 15 and 16, and this is what it says. And the water, the water in the skin was used up, and she placed the boy under one of the shrubs. Then she went and sat down across from him him at a distance of about a boy shot for she said to herself let me not see the death of the boy so she sat opposite him and lifted a voice and wept verses 19 then god opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the the skin with water and gave the Lord to drink. This word is for those of you who have been a long and hard spiritual season. Your season has been so protracted and you have been you have found yourself exhausted. You, have, you are exhausted from crying. You, have ex, you are exhausted from weeping because you can't see an end to that problem. You can't see a solution to that problem. The Lord is saying to you that there is a solution. There is a solution in the midst of that problem. Hey, gay found herself wandering in the wilderness. Many of you have found yourself in the same condition. You have found yourself in the same situation, wandering in the wilderness. What you needed for your provision has dried up. What you needed for sustenance is dried up. Your bread, your water has run out and you have been weeping. You have been crying, not knowing what to do anymore. You have done all that you know to do. You have tried everything. You have sacrificed everything. But the problem is still there. You can't you can't find any way out of the situation that you are in. The Lord sent me to come and tell you, stop crying. Stop weeping. You are in the midst of that. You are in the midst of your solution. Hey, gay. Hagar did not choose to be in the wilderness. She was sent away with Sarah and she ended up in the wilderness. And some of you have been rejected. You have been rejected with the people that you depended on. People, people that you depended on. People that you looked up to. People that you thought will be there for you in your time of need. You have been pushed away. You have been sent away and you have found yourself in a place of wilderness with nobody to turn to, nobody to talk to, nobody to reach out to. The Lord is saying to you, stop crying. Stop crying. You are in the midst of your solution. You may be thinking of relocating. You may be thinking of moving to a deep to a different place you can't see anything fruitful where you are you can't see anything productive where you are you may be feeling some of you you have been feeling misplaced and you can't see an end to that problem you can't see an end to that wilderness everywhere you look all you see is a wilderness the lord 
sent me to come and tell you stop crying stop crying the solution the solution is right there where you are you are in the midst of your solution some of you have found yourself in a very in a very uh, intense in a very very intense place of hardship of hardness but the lord is saying to you stop crying stop crying because you are in the midst of your solution the solution to that problem is right there where you are some of you have been thinking of changing jobs because you can't handle you can't handle the pressure in that place people are hating on you and you just don't know how to cope anymore you some of you have been thinking of moving to a different neighborhood because your neighbors have become hostile some of you have been thinking of relocating to a different city a different town a different state you have been thinking of re relocating to a different country because you can't see any fruitfulness where you are everywhere you look is a wilderness the lord is saying to you stop crying stop crying you will hear the voice of the lord you will hear a voice asking you why are you crying the voice of the lord is calling out to you when god asks a question it's not that he doesn't have the answer it's not that he doesn't know the answer it's not that he doesn't need the answer he wants to wake you up he wants to wake you up to the to the truth of your situation he wants to, he wants to wake you up to the truth of your circumstance of your situation most of the time when we are down we fall prey to the deception of the enemy we fall prey to the lies of the enemy and all that we can hear is the lies all that we can hear is the tormenting voice of the enemy Hagar was thinking that death was all that was left for her she called in see how she was going to get out of that situation and some of you have reached a dead end you are in a place where you can't see a way out and some of you have become suicidal the lord showed me that there are some of you who have become suicidal because of the desperation because of the desperate situation that you are in depression has set in suicidal thoughts have been tormenting you and you think that the only way to end the pain the only way out for you is death the lord God is saying to you stop crying stop crying you are in the midst of your situation you can't see the solution because you're not focusing on God you have been focusing on that situation you have been focusing on that problem the Lord is saying to you he is your solution he is your solution and he is the one with the solution he is the solution to that problem and some of you have been crying for years you have been weeping for years and now you are so exhausted you are so exhausted you don't even have any more tears left to shed god is saying to you stop crying stop crying because he is doing something he is doing something in your life and he's gonna reveal something to you he's gonna reveal something to you that is gonna that is gonna be a solution to that problem verses 19 says that god opened her eyes and she saw a well of water the well of water was right there it was right there where she was but she called in said because she was so she was hurting so much the solution to that problem is right there where you are the solution to that relationship is right there where you are the solution to that business is right there where you are the solution to that marriage the solution 
is right there where you are. Jesus has the answer to that situation. He has the answer to that problem. And he sent me. He sent me to come and tell you, stop crying. Stop crying. You are in the midst of your solution. The voice of the Lord is coming. It is coming to you and you're going to hear his voice. You are going to hear the voice of the Lord. And he is saying to you, stop crying. You will not die. You will not die. You will live and you will testify of his goodness in this land of the living. Death is not your portion. Death is not your solution. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Listen to the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord carries the solution to that problem that is facing you. His voice is what you need. What you, His voice carries the solution to that which is contending with you. His voice carries the solution to that thing which has been opposing you. You are going to hear His voice and His voice is going to open your eyes to see the solution to that problem. The Lord is calling out to you in that place of despondency. The Lord is calling out to you in that place of desperation. The Lord is calling out to you in that place of despair. Stop crying. The Lord is saying to you, stop crying. You are in the midst of your solution. And God is going to open your eyes. He's going to open your eyes and you will see see you will see the solution to that problem you will see that the solution has been right there in front of you all the time your father loves you so much he loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in christ jesus he has your solution and he's open you he's gonna open your eyes to see the solution that he has given you to that problem i love you and i appreciate you thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your comments for your emails for your testimonies may the lord bless you so much for all of you who are giving in this ministry those of you who are giving into my life may the lord abundantly bless you and do you good and always know that i'm praying for you and i'm standing with you in prayer your solution is right there you are in the midst of your solution